Hello, welcome. This is Leon, the paperback maniac. Hope you guys are doing well. Thought I would do a quick little collection update today. At least I'm gonna try to be quick. <laughs> I do remember when I first started making videos a few weeks ago, I told myself I would never go over 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I believe my last video review clocked in at about 18 minutes. So uh, this is something that I need to work on. Um, but I'm gonna try to be quick and to the point and not ramble so much. Uh, but I've got a few things here. Uh, the first few books I'm gonna show you were picked up at an old uh, brick and mortar shop in Arcadia, California, a place called The Book Rack. Cool little shop. Uh, I had been in Pasadena visiting a friend, saw that it was close. Uh, they didn't have the biggest horse selection I've ever seen, uh, but they did have some really solid titles and they were all in immaculate condition. You know, nothing was over like two bucks, so pretty cool. So, uh, the first one I got there at the book rack in Arcadia is uh, Bring On the Night by Jay and Don Davis. This one was published by Tor in 1993 and it's got some cool uh, step back cover art there. I don't know if you can glare is really bad. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's got a pretty cool, pretty cool cover. Uh, yeah, really good condition. Um, thought that would be a cool one to check out. Next one I got uh, from the book rack is Hobgoblin by John Coyne. Uh, this was published by Berkeley in 1982, although it looks like it was originally published in 1981. And this has got uh, some pretty cool die cut uh, cover art there. Pretty neat. Heard a lot about this one. Kind of, kind of uh, eager to check that out. Okay, the next one I got uh, from that same shop is the Night Boat by Robert uh, McCammon. Uh, this edition by Pocket was published in 1988, though it looks like it was uh, originally published in 1981, possibly in hard, probably in hardcover, I would imagine. I'm always happy to, anytime I find these old uh, pocket editions of uh, McCammon books, I always uh, hop on them because you don't see them very often and and uh, yeah, they do kind of go for higher prices online. And then the last one I got from the book rack, when I saw this ridiculous cover, I just had to get it. This is Dress Up by E.M. Love. Hmm, I wonder if that's a pseudonym. Uh, this was published by Leisure in 1988. Yeah, it looks incredibly incredibly cheesy. I'm sure the book is awful, but I just had to get it when I saw that cover. All right, so those few were, again, bought uh, at the uh, book rack in Arcadia, cool little shop. Uh, the rest of these were ordered online. Okay, so the next one I've got is uh, The Proving by uh, Thomas Zolosi. Uh, this was published by Avon uh, in 1989, this edition, though it was originally published in 1988. Possibly in hardcover, I'm not sure. Okay, the next one we've got is um, By Reason Of. Uh, this is by M.R. Henderson, and this was published by Avon in 1986. You know it's an 80s horror paperback when you've got a, a teddy bear in there. And uh, that's a pretty cool cover. You see that kind of mysterious uh, shadowy figure kind of outside the window. Very ominous looking. I do dig that. Okay, next up we've got The Changeling by uh, Kenneth McKenney. Uh, this one was published by Avon in 1985. I recently picked up this author's uh, book, The Moonchild, and I think this this is uh, I think this is related to that possibly, like part of a series. So I uh, thought I'd thought I'd give that a shot. And then we got a few uh, zebra books. Zebra, always known for their striking colors, their, uh, their garish covers. Uh, here is The Forever Children. This is by um, Eric Flanders, a.k.a. James Kisner, a.k.a. Martin James. This guy uh, operated under a number of uh, pen names. Uh, this one uh, was published uh, in 1992 by Zebra. Then another one by that same author, uh, this time he's writing under his, his real name, I believe, James Kisner. This is Earthblood, uh, and this one was published by Zebra in 1990. 
And the last zebra one for today, we've got, And Then Came the Darkness. This is by Ellen Jameson, and this one was published in 1992. I love paperbacks that kind of show uh, kind of like a suburban house with like fog and moonlight. It's just, uh, it makes me feel like it's like comfort. It's comforting for some reason. Like I'm like wrapped up in a warm blanket or something. I don't know. Good old suburban uh, horror. Okay, next up, we've got a novel called Midsummer by Matthew J. Costello. Man, the glare really sucks today. I apologize, guys. Uh, this one uh, was published by Charter Diamond in 1990. And then the last one, I absolutely love this cover. We've got, gosh, there we go. Well, Voodoo by Jeffrey Wilds Deaver. Uh, this was published by Paper Jacks, a uh, Canadian publisher in 1988. And um, this is the only edition of this book, as far as I know, that ha has ever existed. Uh, this author has gone on to some acclaim writing like uh, best-selling thrillers. Uh, I believe he wrote like the book, The Bone Collector, which was adapted into a movie with uh, Denzel Washington and Angelina Jolie. Uh, like a lot of horror writers, uh, he kind of uh, shunted over to thrillers in the 90s after, you know, Silence of the Lambs kind of <laughs> laid horror to rest. Uh, started writing thrillers and, and found some success. And like a lot of those writers, he uh, then uh, completely disavowed his horror books. And apparently, like, he refuses to have this one reprinted. There's no ebook. There's There's no nothing. So it's somewhat of a collector's item. I don't think it's like ridiculously expensive, but it, but it is a little more rare than some um, just because he kind of, I guess, is ashamed of, of his horror roots. You don't need to be ashamed, buddy. You don't need to be ashamed. Everyone was doing it. I'm sure it's fine. But that, that, cover, <laughs> that cover is just awesome. I just love that. That's, that's so cool. Yeah. But that's it. Okay, seven and a half minutes. Not too bad. All right, uh, that was it, guys. That's a, a brief little collection update. Um, I'm going to be uh, doing a new review uh, probably in the next like two or three days. Uh, I started something that I'm enjoying very much, so I'm very happy to – I think I'm going to be able to give it a, a, a pretty positive review. Um, and as always, you know, be on the lookout for more of these collection updates, mailbox horrors, collection videos, etc., um, yeah, until then, have a great day. I will see you guys later. Peace out.